Today on Ballistic Barbecue, we're going to be rocking some old school Johnny Trigg competition ribs. Let's get going. So I have a rack of St. Louis trimmed spare ribs here. We're starting bone up. And I'm going to apply a little bit of peanut oil on the back here. And we're going to hit this with just a little kosher salt. This is OBQ sweetened heat. We're going with a moderate coating of this on the back of the ribs here. Williams rib tickler. We're going to go heavy with this. You know, bone side down, a little more of that peanut oil. We will not be applying any kosher salt on the top here. Again, with that sweetened heat, a moderate amount. And that rib tickler, again, a heavier amount. And there we are. We're going to allow this to sweat through before it hits the pit. We're doing the cook on my brand new Lone Star Grills pellet smoker. I'll give you a tour of that in a little bit. I have it preheated for 250 degrees and I'm using a blend of oak, hickory, and cherry wood for this cook. So I'm doing eight racks of ribs and this is going to be lunch for my friends over at Mark's Motors. It's a paint and body shop and they've done a lot of work on my 1996 Jeep XJ for me. I wanted to show some appreciation with some killer Johnny Trigg ribs. The eight racks ribs hit the pit at five this morning. Got my brand new Lone Star Grills pellet smoker, preheated 250 degrees. This is not my first cook on this thing. It is amazing. I actually did a 26 hour cook on it that I'm still working on the edit, but it's, uh, it's an amazing, an amazing cooker. I'll give you a little overview of it here soon. But anyway, five in the morning, they hit the pit. After the first 20 minutes, I started uh, the Johnny Trigg Ritual, parquet butter, and then every, again, 20 minutes later, a spritz of apple juice. And I alternated the two, again, every 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna give you a little tour of my pit, but I do wanna say I'm giving a brief kind of a rundown on the features that it has that makes it really stand out from the other pellet cookers. I wanna let you know that my friend Jeff over at Dead Broke, bleh, Dead Broke Barbecue, that's a mouthful for me, has a fantastic review going in detail over all the features, and so does my buddy Russ over at Smoky Ribs. I'll have both of their videos down below linked. Again, they go through a lot of detail, way more than I'm gonna go through. First things first, this thing's a beast. It weighs 445 pounds, and every bit of it is made in the USA, which I think that's important. It's powered by the Fireboard PID system, so you can control this through Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi. The entire cooking chamber of this pit is made from 3 16 inch thick steel. Another mouthful, bleh, <laughs> another mouthful for me. But this thing, again, heavy, heavy duty. The cooking chamber has a lifetime warranty on it. I mean, it's built to last. The deflector plate is made from 1 8 inch thick steel and it adjusts so you have a sear zone. It has a tell true analog thermometer has a four inch adjustable smokestack. The total cooking area on this is going to be 1,278 inches. That's a lot of room. The bottom grate measures 20.5 inches deep and 35.5 inches long. Top grate is 15.5 inches deep and 35.5 inches long. Other details that I really love about this is it actually drains like a stick burner. Instead of hanging a little bucket off of a downspout that's basically constantly dripping, I have a nice ball valve. I can put a big old bucket under there and just throw her open and drain this pit. It has a 40 pound hopper, which I think is major. Um, one bag is 20 pounds, so this holds two bags of pellets. And believe me, it, it takes a lot of the worrying away from when you're doing a long, long cook. Like I said, I did a 26 hour cook on this. It has a hollow auger, so it's not going to be susceptible to pellet jamming. So you can pretty much run any brand pellets with no worries. And that's all I'm going to cover for this video, but again, check out uh, Jeff and Russ's videos. I'll have them linked below. A lot of detail, everything you need to know. So it's been two and a half hours now of cooking, and again, we've been alternating that parquet with the apple juice now for quite some time. We're ready to wrap. And this is what we're looking at right here. 
beautiful color. So let's step over to the cutting board and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this wrap. Single sheet of foil here, lay down some parquet, some brown sugar. Some tiger sauce, you guys remember this. Some minced dried onion. And some honey. We're going to lay that rack of rib meat side down and then we're going to repeat on the back of the rib here. Wrap this tightly. Making sure we're not puncturing through the foil with the bones. This is going to go back on the pit, meat side down. I'm going to pull all those other ribs and get them wrapped up as well. And then we're going to continue cooking until it's tender. The ribs have been wrapped on the pit now for a little over an hour. And I just probed them for tenderness and they're where I want them to be. I don't want them to get any more tender than this. I'm going to pull them off the pit drain them, then we're going to apply a, a light glaze and then get them back on the pit. So this is store-bought barbecue sauce in this bottle. But what I did was I added some pickling spice, which is my thing, I love pickling spice, simmered it, it for about an hour or so and it completely changes this. Again, Kinder's, it's Kinder's barbecue sauce. I'm only going to worry about the top. Nice thin coating here. And that's it. Just gonna continue doing this to all the ribs, get them back on the pit. So I left those ribs in the pit, unwrapped with that glaze on it for about 40 minutes or so. And here's what we have. Hopefully these are gonna taste as good as they look. They look fantastic. So now what I'm going to do is remove these from the pit, wrap them, throw them in a cooler with a couple towels on top, and just hold them until I'm ready to slice. Um, that'll be probably another hour or so. All right, so I have to get out of here really soon to go feed these guys, but I wanted to kind of take a look, see how we did here. <laughs> there we are. You can see, got a nice... Nice smoke ring there, very juicy. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Very, very tender. Didn't bring anything to wipe my mouth off with. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you check out the links below. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Thumb up the video if you like it. Hit the notification bell. See you in the next video. Cheers.